So this is about thing link app. It's kind of like an idea mapping, um, idea web type of deal. So um, when you get logged in, you can use your Google account to create a new project as this plus sign. And then you need to select a background image for the um, idea map. So you can take a picture with your camera or probably more likely you'll select a photo from your library. This is your camera roll. So whatever image you want, you can get that off of Google or however you get images. Uh, select that image and it kind of creates your background here. So this little bullseye is kind of what ThingLink is all about. You can click anywhere or tap anywhere on your iPad and it creates a new kind of point of interest and you can do a handful of things with that. Let's say down here I really wanted to point out that this is the power generator. Um, so I could write that here. <coughs> um, and click done. And I've got a new point of interest. Um, other things you can add are, I'm gonna click on add media here. You could take a video and kind of have you explaining more about that particular spot or you could get an image or a, a YouTube clip that links to all about arch dams or all about how hydroelectric dams work or whatever. You could also link to another image, get like a close up of this spot or you know there's kind of infinite possibilities, take photos or take videos. So it's all about kind of creating these points of interest with your uh, iPad's capabilities and then I'm going to click next up here so I guess I've added I should show I've added two points of interest this one down here is just text showing that this is power generator or whatever and then I just a moment added a image up here it just doesn't really make a whole lot of context sense here but you kind of get the idea for how this works and you can add as many of those as you want to um, then when you click next you have some options to add a title so I would say maybe this is arch dams <clears throat> um, I'm gonna leave a lot of these options alone for now this would be like if you want people to be able to add comments to it and this looks like Twitter and email I haven't really explored what those do a whole lot but I'm gonna click save and show you how I like to share these with um, students or other people Right now it's saved into my ThingLink app, but that doesn't do other people a whole lot of good. So if I click on my project again here, uh, now I have some new options at the bottom. This is how I generally save it or share it with other people. If you open it in Safari, which is your web browser, it generates a web address <coughs> for your um, thing that you just made it here and if you click up in the address bar here you have a web address that you could share with other people or students could share this on Schoology or wherever and other people could click in and look at your thing that you've created and click around and learn more about the um, whatever topic that you have so I'm sure there's a whole lot more to it than that, but that's all I've used it for so far. So I'll get in there and play around, see what you think.